Hey everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. Derek Toy Lord here. All right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at this massive behemoth of an action figure. All right, so this is the Hulkbuster Armor Iron Man, or actually it's just considered the Hulkbuster Armor um, because you need Iron Man to go inside, but we'll get into that later. Uh, it's pretty gigantic. This is uh, Avengers Age of Ultron Titan Hero Series. Um, you know, in the, a previous video that I've done for Iron Man himself, uh, Iron Man was my first Titan Hero series figure. I wasn't really sold on the line itself, so I'm not sure if I'd be investing in it anymore. But then I saw this guy on the shelf. Initially, he was priced at $50 retail. I could not pull the trigger on it, could not do it. But then I went back to Walmart, saw that he had been marked down at $35. i am like, you know what? All right, let's go ahead and make that investment and just take a look at it. Um, and I mean, I haven't had him out of the box, but as you can see, there's really not much of a box. But just having him as is, I I kind of dig it. I don't know if I'm gonna, still don't know if I'm gonna invest in more of the Titan Hero series, but so far I'm impressed with this purchase. So let's go ahead and get that packaging off of him and take a closer look at the toy itself. All right, armor is out of the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Really not gonna be much to it. Um, shoulders, can spin 360 and honestly I think that might be it uh, nothing in the wrists no elbow movement uh, no knees no ankles but um but that's okay uh, and I'm gonna show you why one of the reasons why I really thought this was awesome and I had to have it even though I'm not collecting the series is because he opens up because it's just the armor it's not actually Iron Man himself you open him up like that real nice ratchet on that hinge and then if you have an Iron Man figure which I happen to have right here you just pop them right inside. And then you have Hulk Buster Iron Man. I like that the head comes up. You can see Iron Man's head right there. And then you can just fold the Iron Buster, I mean the Hulk Buster helmet down. So it's real simple in regards to articulation. They put a lot of effort into the detailing. I like that. Um, a lot of red. It's broken up a little bit by some gold paint applications, but not much. Uh, you do have these big golden piece, uh, pieces on the forearms. Uh, nothing in the back but red, 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 red. But still, nice detailing. So I definitely, I, I like this figure. Um, it's huge. I mean, Iron Man himself is just shy of 12 inches and he is about a little bit over 18 inches tall. Was he worth $50? Uh, I don't think so. The $35? Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with this purchase for $35. Uh, so yeah, totally, if you can get the Iron Man, which I got clearance for $4, and you can get the Hulkbuster armor, which I got for 35. Definitely worth the investment. I'm very pleased with this purchase. I'm gonna find some room on the shelf for it though. But thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.